But can we talk about stasis for a moment? How is it that a, that evolution can just like almost come to a standstill for millions of years? It just seems to defy. It, it'd be like if gravity worked everywhere except out, except in my house. Like it just doesn't seem to make sense right. to me. As the environment changes, the selection pressure changes. The niche, the way in which this organism lives is going to have to change. The organism is going to have to change along with it. So if you have an environment, a niche, that does not change, evolution is still going to happen because it always happens. But it's going to slow way the fuck down. And that's why all of the species that undergo stasis are species that live in environments that virtually never change. Deep sea organisms, right? What What's going to change the the environment of an organism that just lives in a, at a crushing depth in the pitch black darkness. Yeah, I mean, I, I get the concept of it. I think the thing that makes it difficult for me is, for example, the uh, the coelacanth fish. We have fossils, I think, dating that to like 410 million years ago. Uh, oh, yeah. You know, you have like crocodiles, mm -hmm. salamanders, like, you know, uh, certain crabs, like... The platypus, and their, the platypus, which is like, that's a really curious one because like the, the platypus has all these different elements and it just, it, it seems like it would be more of a, a tr like a, a transitionary, but you know, it's not. And then you have like the possum, like how can these, when we know the environment has changed, like, like the coelacanth fish, you can't say for 400 million years. That, that that their niche didn't change, you know? The, the same thing you, for the platypus, for the possum. Have like, you, it just have you looked, seems like a stretch. Have you looked at those? Yeah, so if you talk to somebody who studies coelacanths or longfish or, or horseshoe crabs or whatever, they have changed a lot, right? Like yeah. they've changed a lot less than a lot of other organisms have. What we find, the variation that you're talking about, it is so minuscule and, and, and it, it, it falls well within adaptation. It's something that we would definitely expect from a common design aspect, especially yeah. with like the possum, for example. Those fossils are like, I mean, I, I'm finding article, I have articles saying they're like nearly identical. I mean, they're like, the changes okay, yeah. are so small. It just seems like a can stretch I, can to I me. Just, I'm just, I'm frustrated that you keep saying this is what we would expect with common design. Evolutionists want you to believe that unusual animals like the platypus survived over a hundred million years of environmental changes, mass extinction events like what wiped out the dinosaurs, ice ages, etc., all without evolving outside of stasis? Give me a like, subscribe to my channel for part two.